And welcome back, everybody, to the Miami Dolphins franchise. Week 13 is going to take us into Los Angeles to take on the 7-4 and four Rams. Right now, the leaders of the NFC West. And they're looking pretty good. Just a few weeks ago, a team that we have in our division, the New England Patriots, they absolutely destroyed. So now coming on the road, their defense, one of the tops in the NFL with Jalen Ramsey and Aaron Donald. How do we combat that, the pressure of them? Can we continue this win streak going right now at 7? Can we continue at 8? And you can see the tag team running game that we have now with Terrence Galvin. Dalton Steele's back. Both had 125 last week. He had two touchdowns. So can they stop our 1-2 punch that we got going here in Miami? Let's get this one going. And week 13 is underway. LA will receive the ball first. This one way back in the end zone. Just kneel that one down and start at the 25-yard line. And here comes their quarterback, Matthew Stafford. So we had him on the preseason roster. He battled for a backup quarterback spot. We ended up releasing him. He signs with the Rams and having a very good season. 22 touchdowns, 8 interceptions, and obviously trying to lead this Ram to a division title victory. And here we go, second and 11, but going nowhere. Nathan Martin's going to take down Cam Akers for a 2-yard loss. This defense has just been so fantastic this year. They are outstanding and look to get a quick three and out. Going up top, looking, and this one's going to be an interference call. I don't know about that one. That definitely looked to be uncatchable, the ball out of bounds, but they're going to say that's going to be interference on Igbenogany, and the Rams just like that, down to the 39-yard line. So first and 10, Stafford fires a quick, finds Cooper Cup, and that'll be around nine yards, just short of the first down. Having a pretty decent season, not really, really touchdowns, but catches and yards. Cup having a very solid season, but on second and one, they try to run game, and Vince Haynes and company are saying, I don't think so. So third down and two, let's see if they try the same or maybe pass it. They're going to try the same thing, and look at Vince Haynes just break off the tackle. Courtney Hayward there to help out, and now the Rams are going to actually go for it on fourth down. So fourth down and one, and this time they hand to the fullback, and it works out perfectly. So converted linebacker Jason Combinda with the carry. And the Rams get the first down on fourth down and one. So second down and nine. They could still get a first down, but that is a great tackle. Cam Akers going absolutely nowhere. Austin Cloud with the stop. Five carries, negative one yard so far for Cam Akers and brings up a third down and eight. Stafford looking. Just a three-man rush, dropping everybody back in coverage. Nobody really open, and he's just going to throw this one away. So the defense does get the hold, holds him to three. In reality, all the yards came from pretty much the pass interference call. But that is going to be three points, three nothing lead as Pat Kirkpatrick goes down. Have to hopefully that is okay there. Let's see if he, uh, we don't want to see him go down at all. And he's going to actually head to the locker room. That is not what we want to see at all. Okay, we'll have to keep an eye on that. See what the update is here in a few plays. Second down and nine. Dump it down to Steele. And he's got a first down easily out of the backfield. We're going to have to reutilize his quick throws. Because Aaron Donald will be there in about two seconds if you kind of hang on to the ball. So up to the 44. And first and 10 looking down the field to a wide open. There's Dillard for the catch right over the middle. He's got a first down up to the 39-yard line. There we go. That's what we want to see. Kind of open it up a little bit. And the run game some working. Maybe, maybe the pass game will open up the run game. And Kirkpatrick has a torn labrum. Torn labrum for Pat Kirkpatrick. And with four weeks left in the regular season after this one, as Dalton Steele is going to go for the touchdown, 39 yards. So maybe the pass game did open up the run game. There we go, 39 yards, Dalton Steele. First two games back have been fantastic, but back to Pat Kirkpatrick. I'm not sure how long of an injury that is going to be. Hopefully he'll be able to, say, return for the playoffs. I don't know. We'll have to take a look after this ball game, but that is a huge one there. Kind of shakes up the receiving game, no doubt about it. Now, Laveris Claiborne is going to have to really step up his game and try to take that roll. As on first and 10, Nathan Martin gets in there to Stafford for the sack. This dude is going to be a free agent after this season, and he is going to want a lot of money because he is just a sack specialist. Third and 16, Stafford just throwing it up, and Byron Jones is there to pick it off. He had one last week, has another one here. And he has been having one of the best seasons he's had for this Dolphins team. Even getting up there in age, he is looking great. Get the turnover, but right back at it, second and seven. That's what, what just, it's tough. You try to play action play, Donald just 
instantly gets in there. Sack, and now you're sitting back at a third and 14. And now third and 14 down the middle of the field, and Claiborne can't come down with it. Going to fall incomplete, and the Rams do get a stop and a punt. So first and 10, handoff to Akers. Best run of the game for this Rams team. He'll pick up around 12 yards. He's up to the 43-yard line and a first down. Yeah, that was uh, the best carry he's had. First and 10, Stafford. Actually going to hand this one off as well, trying to get that run game going as Riley not going to get a whole lot there, just picking up maybe around three yards and brings up a third and seven. And Stafford to the outside. That's going to be caught. That's going to be Robert Woods. Catch, first down. Up to the 46-yard line. So the Rams trying to answer right back. Second down and 10. Play action. Stafford looking, firing. Wide open catches Higby. And luckily for us, he just stepped out of bounds. But the Rams moving the balls down to the 24-yard line. 12 seconds left here in this first quarter as Stafford looking goes underneath Higby again. So Higby, the main target, gets down to the 10-yard line. Another first down for L.A., and we start this second quarter, first and 10. They set up a screen. This is going to be Riley going nowhere, only picking up about a yard. Nice job of the defense rallying to the tackle. Third down and six now. Can we get a stop to the outside? And that's going to be Higby for the touchdown. Perfectly thrown to the flat, and he gets in there just before Simmons can get to him. And the Rams come up with a great drive, take the lead, 10-7. Here, 9.55 left. In this first half as we come right back with the run game. Terrence Galvin, his first carry of the ball game, and he just picks up 23 yards just like that. So down to the 49-yard line, second down and eight. Tua from the gun looking around. He's going to fire over the middle. Claiborne comes up with a tough, tough catch. Guy right on him, but a nice job hanging on to the ball and brings up a third down in inches here. So we'll go to Dalton Steele. Run just enough for the first down. We'll take it. Yeah, that's all you need. Just get a yard. Don't worry about it. Move those chains and keep it going here up to the 39-yard line. So first down and 10. They're going to drop back. They won't bring the blitz. Two is going to roll out. Has a wide open man. It's Claiborne. And with his speed, let's see if he beats him. And he does. Touchdown. Beats Taylor. Wrapped to the corner. Easily 39 yards for Claiborne. And we retake the lead here. 14-10. That's what we want to see, man. He was wide, wide open. And uh, we'll take that all day. And obviously now, yeah, as I said, Claiborne's going to have to step up with Kirkpatrick out for the rest of this game and possibly, who knows, the rest of the season. But we'll see after that. But nice play. Take the lead. And now let's get the defense working again. First and 10. Stafford dropping back. But he's going to run out of time. Vince Haynes gets right in there for the sack. It's only his fifth sack of the season, but he is excellent in the run game. That's what, I mean, really his value there is outstanding as you can see they're double teaming them but it's going to be going to open up somebody else and that is going to be Isaiah Simmons who gets the sack flag on the play is going to be a holding on the offense will decline that so back-to-back -back sacks great coverage down the field to allow the guys to get there and now brings up a third and 24 as Stafford just dumps this down to Cooper Cup will have the catch but obviously well short of the first down defense gets the stop gets the three and out punt the ball and now Get this offense back rolling again. And now Steele with the carry. Breaks off a tackle. Keeps digging forward. And he picks up 14 yards. You can see the early start for him. Five carries, 60 yards in the touchdown. He's had back-to-back 100-yard -back games since, since uh, coming back from injury. And trying to make it three to start. Second down and two. Finding Claiborne. And he's got the first down easily. That was a great throw by Tua. Finding him on the run. Letting him continue there. Right over the DB, first down. And it looks like now our offense getting into a rhythm. As you can see, opens up the run game. Steal, oh man, one away from definitely going for another touchdown. And he's down to the 19-yard line and another first down. First down and 10, 250 left here in this first half. To uh, all the pressure, just going to get to him right in time as Kilroy gets in there. And knocks us back. So third down and 11. Just be careful with this ball. As Tua firing. And this one's going to be dangerous. But it's going to be caught by Claiborne. Who went up for it. The flag is actually going to be pass interference on the defense. Would have climbed that. But what a play by Claiborne. Going up for it. Bringing it down. And now first and goal. Hand this one off to Steele. And he's just a tad short at the one. 
We're going to go right back to him. We're not going to stop. Second and goal. There we go. Don't steal. And he's easily in for the touchdown. Second in the game for him. Takes this up down to a 21-10 lead. And our offense is looking unstoppable once again, even against this Rams defense. And now our defense looks even better. Jazeer Becton for the sack. And we are putting pressure on Stafford. And with that, they just decide to not do anything with the rest of the time. And that will take us into halftime. Great way to finish. After being down 10-7, just like that, come out with three straight scores and take the lead. As we got to keep up with the Patriots. They win. They're at 9-3. And, and the Bills with a big win. So Titans are fighting for that division. Bills trying to get that wild card. But if it comes down to those two teams, now you have, you know, the tiebreaker. So that's a big one there. You can see below the Browns win. So they can remain the one seed. They're really one of the best teams in football right now. So that's the team we're going to look up to at the moment. But our team looking really good as well as we start up the second half of the ball. 21-10 the score as Matt Garvin with the catch. So him and Joe Waddle will have to now fill in that role, try to step up like to see what we'll get out of him. And that's a great job. Catch first down and up to the 48-yard line. Here comes the blitz from L.A. But, man, Claiborne beating Rap And Claiborne off to the races. He is gone for another. You just give him a little bit of room, you can forget about it. He is just going to beat you to the edge, and he is gone. Running up towards the 22 miles an hour, gets in for his second touchdown, and right now this Rams defense has got some troubles with our offense. We're running the ball, we're passing the ball, we're doing it all right now. And the way our defense is playing, I mean, that could be the ball game for this Rams team. We will see. Third down and four. Stafford looking, trying to find anything. And with the pressure in his face, he just throws it away. Falls incomplete. Three and out. And now puts this tired Rams defense on the field. They're going to have to get a stop. As Tua rolling out, looking on second and ten. And can't come down with the catch. Going to fall incomplete. So third down and ten. This is what they need. They need a stop. Tua fires over the middle. He's got Gronk first down. That is not what the Rams defense wanted to see at all as the drive continues. Second down and seven. Let's get back to this run game. Hand off to Dalton Steele. Breaks off one tackle. Gets him to the 48, picking up five. and makes this a third down and two. And, I mean, I'm ready to run it two more times. We won't even have to worry about that. We'll pick up the first down on third down and just continue to wear down this defense because – you keep running the ball, too. Even though Aaron Donald's a very good run defender as well. He, I mean, he's all around probably the best defensive player in football. But, I mean, you're going to negate that, you know, thing he has. with the, You can just break off, ruin your day with sacks and forced fumbles. Let's just continue to run this ball. The, the success we're having. Hand this one to uh, Galvin. That's a first down. And just keep it rolling. Second and ten. And now we'll just dump it off to the running backs. Dalton Steele with another catch. Another first down. Gain of 15 up to the 18-yard line. And this drive just continues to go. And then with the running game and our lead, clock is just running off. So Tua on third down and nine. Fires end zone wide open as Claiborne. Touchdown third of the game. What a ball game for Laveris Claiborne. And he just came Wide open. You can see the pocket that Tua has all day. And another touchdown here. Putting this up to 35-10. to 10. You know, this game, I'd say, is a little bit more impressive, obviously, than last week. The Jaguars team, they're, you know, they're okay. They're five. They were 5-5. Five and five. But, man, now taking on a pretty good opponent here in this Rams team. And we are just lighting them up. 35-10 to 10. as we move into the fourth quarter. Rams looking for some answers as Stafford, and he throws an interception! Igbenog, and he picks this one off! And that is going to be our ball at the 40-yard line. Igbenog, great season. Fourth interception here for this season. Made a great play there. I think that was intended for Higby. Just thrown a little bit behind him, but he makes the play. And now we take the ball over at the 38-yard line, but on two on second and seven, Joseph Day will bring down Tua for the sack and brings up a third and 14 as Tua looking down the field. He's going to go up top looking for Gronkowski and he can't come over with the catch. Nice play there by Ramsey, knocking it away. So, give the Rams some credit. They do get a stop off the turnover. We had great field position. But now, we'll bring out Matt Hawk and what a punt. 
This one's going to be down at the three-yard line, stopped by Daniel Reed. And now a first down and 10 from the three, and you got to throw the ball because you're down 35-10. And Stafford looking around. Randall Morgan's going to get him in the end zone for the safety. So it goes from uh, bad to worse for this Rams team. Safety makes it a 37-10 ball game. This game pretty much over. Now just going to run out the rest of the way. Dalton Steele just breaking some tackles. Picks up 11. He's got 137 on the day. So that is three straight games since returning from injury with 100-plus yard games. He is looking fantastic. And look at him dig for more yards. He wants as much as he could possibly get. He said, I have missed all that time. Just keep feeding me the ball because I want the it is, you know, I want to get these yardage. And first and 10, Galvin with the carry. He's up to the 34. He's having a great game as well. Man, this run game looks really good. Really good. Second down and one. Hand this back off to Galvin. And he is going to dig for the first down. And Terrence Galvin has just really shown what running kind of running back. I mean, you thought he was just a receiving back. And he's really showing that he can dig for yards as man. Dalton Steele, first down. He has 500 yards already. I mean, you can see the... The impact he has had. I, I At first I was thinking, oh man, do we give him the deal or not? We give him the deal after he holds out. And he gets injured. You're like, you got to be kidding me. And coming back these three games, he has really shown his impact. He is in, just in pretty much three games, he's already over 500 yards rushing. And almost has another 200 yard rushing performance. The Rams, as you can see, barely get over 100 yards of offense. We absolutely dominated this ball game. And if you remember in the second quarter, the Rams had the lead 10 to 7. Man. Yeah, 119 total offense. Yeah, with time of possession with running the ball, we almost doubled them. That was an absolutely dominating performance. Two only attempts, 18 passes, 12 completions with three touchdowns, 176 on the ground for Steele for two touchdowns. 56 for Garvin. Yeah, receiving game with Kirkpatrick out. Claiborne just steps up for 154, three touchdowns. But when your defense plays that well and you can run the ball, forget it. Great pressure all day with five sacks, two picks from Noah Egmanogany, Byron Jones. You can't get more dominant than that. That was absolutely a beatdown here in L.A. That would, That's a type of game that will make you question your team if you're LA like what what did we what do we do what do we do and man this is not what we want to see so Kirkpatrick is out for four weeks so I guess that's better than you know being out for seven where he would might have been done for the season so he'll be out four weeks he will miss the remainder of the regular season so we'll have him back for the playoffs Dalton Steele player of the week outstanding Look at Brody Fitzsimmons. Look at him. But look at the games that Dalton Steele's had since returning. So he goes out, two plays in, partially tears an ACL. He's out for eight weeks. Comes back. First game, 204, two touchdowns. 125 touchdown. Then 176 and two touchdowns. Has a receiving touchdown as well. I mean, he has been fantastic. Looking good. You can see so far season stats, 226 touchdowns, 10 picks. So, but yeah, we got four games left in the season. Uh, Galvin might get 1,000. I mean, he's averaging 8.5 a carry. He just gives you those two to three runs a game where he just takes off. He's got six touchdowns. Steele, if he ends up getting a 1,000, I mean, I don't think he can. I don't know. He'd have to have another couple, you know, 200-yard game. But if he got 1,000 playing like six games, that'd be insane. Absolutely insane. Five touchdowns. As Kirkpatrick, that'll probably be his season stat. 76 catches, still over 1,000 yards, 5 touchdowns. Obviously not the season he had last year, but still averaging 15.5 a catch. Claiborne probably would have, will get over 1,000 as long as he stays healthy. And he, once again, doubled it, double digit touchdown uh, season. He had one last year. He'll have another one. That, he obviously has this one this year, so... At least giving these guys the contracts, you know, some big time contracts, it's paying off early. Uh, I mean, even Byron Jones, you're like, oh, should we give him, you know, we give him the two year deal. He seems fine. And he's just having a fantastic season as this defense, same thing, is getting a lot more pressure as well. Yeah, Byron Jones, four picks on the season. 
Cloud with two, Igmanogany with four. So you could, you know, working out. The, everything's worked out so far. It's just going to be going forward in a couple years where we have to re-sign a bunch of these guys. You know, the defense might break up, but right now everything's intact. This defense looks outstanding. And, you know, even if the offense has a bad day, I mean, the way our defense is playing, you know, we might not only put up 10, uh, allow 10 points. So you just got to put up maybe a couple touchdowns and that's it. San Francisco's next week. We'll try to continue it on from there. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the support. I appreciate it. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.